Welcome back to the channel. Uh, you find us this morning leaving St Andrews. Boo. St Andrews on sea. And it is on sea. He's got, I, he's, I he can you, say it this time. I didn't even get a chance to have one round of golf. You don't play golf. Give I'm over. A, I like golf. I like playing sets of You've three. You've got more chance of going for a skinny dip. Anyway, yeah, we're leaving this morning and we really, really, really like it here. Definitely going to come back to this place and just, what a park up it is as well. We were just saying this morning you'll never get parked up here in summer, will you? Because you'll park here you to go playing uh, with the balls, you know, the golf balls, aren't they? So. We're heading off to a place called Pit Lockery. Not on sea. Not on sea, no. no it's not, is it? Pit Lockery. I think that's why you say it, how you say it, I don't know. But we have discovered there was free places on search for sites mm -hmm. and one of them was always has always been where you can stay overnight. Now all of them are saying no camping overnight. Not allowed. Not allowed. So we're gonna go up there and see what the crack is because what a shame. Look at St Andrews, a big place like this that could charge you a fortune and you can park for free, but Pit Lockery is a little like villagey towny place. Yeah and they don't let you stop overnight so we're just going to head up there if we can't stop we're going to carry on but we are going to go and have a look round anyway because it's somewhere that we've always passed and said we wouldn't mind popping in to have a look at so mm. let's get on our way marcus and head for pit lockery <laughs> Unfortunately, we're just going over the Tay Bridge and it's that misty, you can't really see much. Still looks pretty though. And we're heading over to the Dundee side of our, the area. But because Dun Dundee has a low emission zone, we're just dodging it, I think, can't we? Yeah, it's just in the centre, so we're going round. We're not stopping in Dundee, are we? No, we were going to do, but because of the low emission zone, there's just no parking anywhere near the city centre, so we're not going to bother. We're going to skip it and head straight for Pit Lockery. See, oh, I can very much just a tiny, tiny bit. Very foggy here, isn't it? Today, yeah, it was clear 10 miles down the road, wasn't it? Strange how it changes so quick. Stay up till late, share our secrets as we let go. This is a bit of Dundee where they've spent billions apparently on the front. And what this is a bit that we wanted to have a look around, but. Anyway, it's raining today, so we've saved ourselves getting wet. So we've just pulled into Tesco's uh, because it's 1.43 here and we need some diesel in the diesel heater because it's getting cold and it's going to get colder next week, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. And the lady from the kiosk has just been coming over to us while I was filming and I thought, oh, we're going to get into trouble filming. And it's a lady called Natalie. She actually follows us and funnily enough, she was watching last week thinking, I wonder if they ever turn up at my work at Dundee. And here we are. <laughs> How strange. Hi, Natalie. Um, thanks for coming to say hello to us and she got to meet Chico as well she's happy as Larry and when Chico sat there he is actually tied up he just he just squats through on his uh, yeah. his chain but he is actually tied yeah. up in his bed we've he's had a few on, comments his, saying he's loose he's on his and he's belt. not he's on his seat belt so onwards to pit lockery <laughs> stunning town of Pit Lockery that lies on the River Tummel. We walked around the High Street taking the quaint shops and coffee bars we came across. Mark managed to find the local chippy and decided to treat himself to a massive fish and chips that even he couldn't finish. We visited the Pit Lockery Dam where we were shown the famous fish ladder and shown how the salmon use it to swim up the river. On our way back we were treated to a sighting of a beautiful red squirrel that is now endangered and very rare to find. We left Pit Lockery taking in the stunning views on our journey towards the Kengo Mountains. We've got 
got a stranger coming up to see us, look. <laughs> we are now here at the campsite that we were coming to. Uh, we are next to our friends JP and Sammy. Uh, JP has an absolutely fantastic channel. If you're into your nature, go over. The link will be in the description below. Go and check his channel out because what he doesn't know about wildlife, it's not worth knowing, is it? Yeah. And the pictures, that he, if the, the things that he finds, the birds and the squirrels, very good. So head over, to out, yeah, yeah. head over to his channel. So they came early in the week, didn't they? Yeah. And they said, why don't you come and join us? Thought, why not? Because we need batteries charging, we need laundry doing, we needed to change his toilet. So yeah, we landed here last night and we're going to go and have a, a walk around now because it's like in the forest, isn't yeah, it? Okay. So yeah, anyway, we'll take you around, show you around and show you some fun, some the fantastic views. What's the campsite called, Mark? Dalradi Holiday Park. And it's just down from Aviemore. Just down from Aviemore. Yeah. So that'll give you a clue to where we're going to next. So we're going to take Chico on the lead. Let's go and see what it's got in store for us. So this is our pitch, it's absolutely massive and like I said, it just feels like you're sat in the middle of the woods, so peaceful and quiet. These are half and half pitches, so you've got gravel and half grass. We're on full electric, full water, the works. Got my washing done this morning, all washed, dried and put away, so that's one less worry. And we'll be leaving here all powered up tomorrow. This is JP's pitch. Come and play. Come and show us the wilderness, JP. Go out and play. <laughs> Look, he absolutely loves JP. <laughs> JP's got it all set up over there. This is where he catches all his red squirrels and bird pictures. Look at all that lot there. Now, over here is where we got our food from last night, and it's called Alvey Forest Food. And OMG, guys, you've got to come and try it just for the food if you're passing. It's like outdoor catering, but Michelin star food. Now, the yurt is absolutely lovely and warm on a night time, and it's massive inside there. So, you can go in the yurt anytime you want. Everyone's getting a coffee at the moment as we speak. Uh, you can do archery, they do all sorts, bush, bushcraft. There's, and there's so much wildlife here, squirrels, birds, deers, all sorts. So yeah, you need to come here. It's £30 a night we've paid last night, um, which will mean we've done all our laundry, we're all fully charged. It is next to a railway track, but you don't hear that very often. Um, we're all be, we'll, yeah, we'll be fully charged, fresh water on board, and that'll be us okay for about another two to three weeks, I should imagine. Uh, so yeah, let me go and get my coffee, because I'm freezing. Right guys, what a few days we've had. Um, as you know, we've had loads of problems with this camera. Still having problems with it now. Yeah. Uh, we got to the campsite on Saturday to see Sammy and JP. We had a fantastic time with them, but we've spent three days here now, which was not planned. Mark's decided he did want to stay another night, so we did two nights. We're supposed to be going on Sunday. Yeah. But on Saturday, we decided to buy a new camera because JP's got one, we've had a look at his and he knows everything about cameras so we've gone with his recommendation bought it on Saturday, it's supposed to be coming Monday so yeah. we'll stay until Monday uh, Mark got up yesterday morning well, yesterday morning, Monday morning I thought, I'll check because it's a one time code with, with valuable things like cameras on Amazon we're going to deliver it here but you need to give the delivery driver a one time code like a passcode for yeah. to deliver it so I logged in onto the Amazon app I checked it, it said it had been dispatched but no code and I happened to just click on the camera, so it took me to the ordering page if I wanted to order another. And guess what? Guess what? It's been reduced. £90 it's reduced. On the camera which we paid £379, yeah. it was now £289. So you tried to get it reduced, didn't you? Mm -hmm. 
no they wouldn't have it just send it back they said we explain we're on a campsite we can't send it back um because we're not there to oh, refuse the delivery they said didn't yeah, they but we were, just, we're not we're not down there the lady was going to accept it give them the code for us we're miles away from went. reception yeah mm -hmm. so we explained we can't refuse it so they said we'll return it so we said, what we decided to do is buy another at the reduced price and when this one comes the first one we'll send it back so we're like nearly 700 pound now out of pocket aren't we though, yeah so. so the first one's come it came yesterday that was no problem went straight onto amazon to get a return code for it and they want ups to collect it from here well we leave from in, here in the today. next three business days so we're like eh? yeah we can't we said we can't do that we're on a campsite we're leaving today oh my god about four hours of our life yesterday wasted on Amazon trying to explain. They just kept giving us the same scripted answer back. Can't do it. Then I went on last night, spoke to someone, and he, he offered us, because we'd already got the part of back, pound back yeah. 50 odd pound off if we keep it. I so went, no. no. We're ordering another now at the price what each other been. Yeah, so. like you told us to. And then he said, well, we'll give you 70 pound off. No. It's not enough. It should have been that. If we did on 90, we'd have cancelled today's a little and they sold a load of rigmarole. Yeah. But Amazon's supposed to be like working to being, towards being carbon neutral and all like low emissions and stuff like that. And then they're sending people from Inverness to deliver cameras willy nilly. It just doesn't make Absolute sense. Absolute stupid. It's just, we've got another camera coming today, but we do leave today. But JP's going to pick it up for us. So we might be coming back tomorrow or the day after to pick the camera up. And I don't open this one and send the other one back on the other order because it might be tallied up with serial numbers. Yeah. So. We need so to be right. Right, this is going right back down to reception now and it's gonna to have to wait for ups to pick it up oh what it's been honest to god guys an absolute nightmare That's the right. campsite thank god we've got a beautiful campsite and we've got really nice friends here and uh we've had a quite it's nice me out, hasn't it? That's that, good. yeah it's with just the took the fun out of it hasn't and it what with all this content we've lost and everything else oh, it all just seems to two days worth of vlogging we've lost we were really in front mm -hmm. so we could chill and relax I'm, I'm just hoping that this has got some sound on it or else we're, it's gonna go <laughs> go through the window so yeah we're getting ready to go now we're just packing up we're going up to Aviemore. we're gonna have a look around there and then we'll be back here sometime either tomorrow or the next day to pick that blinking camera up so yeah we'll catch up with you in a bit Right, so that's the shopping done. Nice full fridge for at least another week. Won't have to visit any more Aldi's or anything for a while well, now, will we? The only thing we haven't got is some Chinese. Oh, I've got a Chinese you chicken have. curry. You have. You've got yeah. a Chinese chicken curry you're going to have for your dinner now. 30% off as well. What you say, Chico? You ready to go up in the snow? <laughs> His face is like, I don't want any snow. It's cold enough. A few miles. So where away. are we going now? Let her be... Uh, visitor center aren't we they're right up in the mountains that is the visitor center as well you've got a pinpointed for there isn't it yeah, oh is that the part, yeah all right so we'll see how busy it is yeah let's go and have a look then snow as last year is there and we've been told on the search for sites this might be barriered off now you might not be allowed on this car park anymore so we're going to go and check it out if we're not allowed on then we've just seen plenty of other places we can go back to loads, yeah loads the sites you see from up here are, are absolutely gorgeous that's where you were sledging last year mark on here there's no snow this year is there oh it is is it Oh, it's open. It's open. That's got a barrier on it as well. They have put barriers on though. They are new, aren't they? There's nothing to say you can't park. And here we are. And it was worth it. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's take you outside and show you. Yeah, that's Loch Morlick down there. Let's go and have a look. So last time we were up here, it was thick snow. That's Loch Morlick all over there. So you've got no snow over that side, then you come to this side, and there's your ski slopes up there different story because the sun don't come on this side 
absolutely stunning up here but <laughs> it's also freezing so I'm going back in we're gonna get some dinner on and get warm and of course get that kettle on as well hello <laughs> it's freezing mark oh it's toasty in here though isn't it do you want to come off your lead cheeks let's get you off then darling been a good boy aren't you there you go darling you're free <laughs> you're free aren't you yes you want to go and look out of your windows eh? Yeah, we did right well in Aldi. We got some reduced meals, so we're going to have them for dinner. I think I got sweet and sour chicken. Mark's got Chinese chicken curry. So we've used like that to look at while we're eating. It's going to be a good dinner time, isn't it, Cheeks? And we got this one, some chicken, didn't we? We got you some chicken feeding dins as a treat. Because you've been ever so good, haven't you? Yes, you have. Look at Mark. He's braving it going out there with no coat on. Good morning, guys. Good news and bad news. Good news is we've got a new camera, hooray! And we're now using it, so yeah. hopefully this is coming nice and clear to you. So. Fingers crossed. The bad news is we have come down from the Cairngorms this morning from where we stopped yesterday. On the road it was a bit dickery pokery, wasn't it, with the ice and stuff? Yeah, but um, what did we get to yesterday, minus what? I think about minus seven, minus eight. I gave up looking about eight o'clock last night, nine o'clock, something like that. And our water <laughs> tank was already frozen, weren't it? The waste one, yeah. The waste one. Now we've gone to use, we, we we're all right because we could still use our taps, but our sink and our bathroom sink perhaps are now frozen and well, not we're, draining. We're either frozen up the waste pipes or the tank's full and it's backing up because all the shower and all the seats now are all filling up with water, aren't they? So. Yep, so what are the plans? We'll, we're going to go around having more today, weren't we? Yeah. But we're going to have to go somewhere warmer. I don't want to leave Scotland. Well, we're going to have a quick an hour or so look around having more this morning, aren't yep. we? I really don't want to leave, have to leave Scotland. Really don't want well, to have to. I was looking on the weather map and can you see where we are at the minute? So it's minus two. That's at 11 o'clock this morning. Right. <laughs> but over here and stuff, it's like six degrees. We can't go that far. It's mild. Well, we could go to Lossiemouth or something, Fraserborough. I think we went there years ago, didn't we? Did we? But it's warmer, you see, so that'll mean that and pipes will de-ice. So we we can go there for a day, I suppose. We need to de-ice things. We need, we've got to have a functioning motor mm. on, haven't we? Never um, had the waste pipes freeze up before. Never. We? we were here for two weeks mm. last, last it, year, weren't it, we? It, I insulated the waste tank out, outlet pipe as well. It's not very good insulation, obviously, because that's you can see inside it's like slushy inside, like a big freeze pop. So, so that's where we're at. Never a, never a dull moment, wheels too, I tell you. We're never just, a dull moment. I've just got the hot water and I'll show you what we're doing in a minute. We, in, in the summer when we're in Spain, we're red hot, we're putting ice cubes in a fresh water tank. To cool it down. I'm now <laughs> running the, putting hot, the hot water on, the, the gas boiler, and we're going to fill the, just take it out of the hot tank, put it straight back in the water tank, and that will hopefully just increase the temperature, the temperature. by us a, a little bit. So we'll show you that when I'm doing it in a minute. Oh, the trials and tribulations of living in a van, I tell you. So, lesson learned, next time we come up in a winter, we need to make sure everything's well, I'm never insulated. At, yeah, that the problem started with the waste pipe. I think it could be just a waste tank, what's full to be fair, but the waste the waste tank, exit pipe, outlet pipe, I had it closed while we were on that site, and when it's really cold, you're supposed to leave them open and have them dribbling in a bucket or something. So this is where we're getting our hot water, which is piping up. Can you see how warm it is, Lisa? I don't think you'll be able to tell. Oh, you can see the steam coming up in yeah. a bit. Well, that's a boiler set for 60 degrees, so. Yeah, I can see it now. And obviously the cold water, the pumps running and stuff, so the fresh water tank's still okay at the minute and the supply, the pipes away from it to the pump, but I just pour this in, it just recycles the water and it warms up a bit. We did it in the summer, didn't we? Yeah. When we were down in Spain, we ice cubes make the water colder because you couldn't have a cold shower and it would red out. So. Chico's got his little jumper on, keeping warm. It's like NASA warming here, it's not, not wrong with the diesel heater or all like that, but... Yeah. I think it's just because we've been on a campsite for three days solid and not using the diesel eater, it's, it's crept up on us, hasn't it? Yeah, so... How much are you pruning? Well, until it goes cold. So it'll be right. the, I think it's normally 10 litres. 
the, the, the hot water tanks about 10 litres but the problem is the water going into it's so cold it, it cools it down quicker you see so right. still roasting that in a minute What are you doing with that now? Just bring it water back through what out of the tank now. Ah, oh, putting warm warm into the Yeah, well they'll just bring it round then. That can pour the outside, can't is it? Has it come through already? Yeah, it's gone into pump. Oh right. It, it's okay. just circulates round, that's all. Oh, it, it might not make a massive difference, but it probably helps, doesn't it? It's probably bought that water up the I don't know, a couple of degree, degrees and it's enough, isn't it? Stop it from freezing because it's just starting to freeze, so so we've made it into Aviemore. Yeah, welcome to a very cold, freezing, cold, wintry looking Aviemore, eh? It's, yeah, uh, it's, a bit, it's really, really, well, you can see it in the sky in behind us, can't you? It's, it's like, a bit drizzly as well, isn't it? It's not snowing, it's like freezing rain, like drizzle, so it's slippy, but at least I've sorted the paths and stuff, haven't they, in the road? And I think so. you'll be all right if you come to Aviemore and you want ski gear, because it looks like that's all it is. There's a trespass shop, there's a blacks, there's a... Even we've, I've just seen a charity shop now that I'm going to go in and it's got skis and boots, ski boots in the window. So, uh, yeah, let's go and have a look, see what Avonmore's got. So we just actually had to Google where the post office is because we've got loads of cups to send. If you've ordered your cups over Christmas and New Year, sorry it's, it took so long, but we're out on our travels, yeah, but we're getting them all to you today. There. Yeah, bag we're, full. All packaged up, ready to go. So we're going to get them away. So get your orders in if you do want your orders on our cup. Yeah service has resumed as normal and if you come to Avimore look out for our sticker it's somewhere very close you found it send us a picture on Instagram and let us know you've got it so this is the charity shop that I'm on about the British Red Cross and look at this <laughs> like I said if you want some uh, cheap ski gear they don't look cheap either do they I don't know much about ski boots and stuff but yeah ski is there look. can we go in can I do me impression of someone skiing no. Zero. Now they have racks and racks of Zara stuff in there as well, didn't they? Ball dresses and stuff. Then. Looks like stuff that people have ordered for New Year's Eve and returned. So yeah. let's go and find this post office. Just Look at the. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that. That's a cloud. There is actually a big mountain there. Oh, no, and it's, it's all just covered with like. It's like fine drizzle, isn't it? It might drizzle. warm up enough. It might warm up enough for as, as pipes to de ice, but I don't think so. It's got to be like nah. one or two degrees, hasn't it? I think we're definitely going to be going somewhere a bit a bit warmer. Just for a day, eh? Yeah. We'll be right then. I might even get some lag in it if it's dry any time, get under and do it. But Right, we've got our boots here. Whoa, Oh. Mark's had to take his walking boots off because it's that slip, eh? Whee! I think we're moving on their own then. He needs no help with uh, falling over, does he, or slipping? Some, I could do with some skis, can't I? <laughs> Ski himself along. No. You might be a bit, you might be better off with them poles that keep you up. Hey, it was a Sue Rider here. Clothes shops. That was a bit expensive, doesn't it? Hey, Lisa, look at this. Look at what we've got here. Oh, yeah. I don't know this has been so close. Snow Mountain. If you I can't... do ice pipes, can we stay tonight so I can get no. Snow Mountain? No. You Come can on, sit then. outside and have your Chinese. How much is chicken fried rice? Drum roll. Drum roll. Brrr. Eight pound. That's no, it. No. Chicken fried rice is ten pounds twenty pence. <gasps> How much? Ten pound twenty for chicken fried rice, but it's where we are, isn't it? I don't care. Ten pound twenty for some rice. And if you want some chips, four pound fifty. Yeah, right or. That has got to be the most expensive Chinese we've ever seen. Takeaway. Yeah, but you get the table to sit outside. Oh, brilliant. Sit outside in cold. That's ridiculous. They're, they're restaurant prices, aren't 10. they? 50 for salt and, chick, salt and pepper chicken. <gasps> so before you know where you are, you're at £50 there for two of us, aren't you? Wow. That is... It's official we've found the most expensive Chinese in the UK. We've been everywhere, haven't we? And it's never been that much, no. ever. Crazy, Mark's eh? still looking. I don't even, that can give you a free menu. <laughs> <laughs> that could go on the mantelpiece, that, couldn't it? It wants to go in a frame for them prices. Right, so that's the cup's gone. Apparently, we've been looking for the post office in, in a shop, <laughs> right well, at the what back. Are, aren't they now? Yeah. Hey, look. What? Gold. Oh, yeah. Why is it gold? 
down our way the gold. Something to do with something. I thought it? it was something to do with the Queen's Jubilee. Yeah, might have been. Let us know in the comments below if you know why the post box is gold. What you found now? A noodle bar. It's a noodle bar. So we've got the chicken fried rice, eight pound. That's two fifty, two twenty ah, cheaper. That's a massive difference, yeah. isn't it? So why is that other one so expensive? I don't know. Makes you wonder. Oh, they do prawn dishes as well. Nine fifty, nine pound. Better, isn't it? It's still expensive. Well, it's still expensive, but it's better than ten pound fifty. Yeah. I don't think, I can't imagine anyone paying that mark. If you want to come to Galaxy Noodle Bar, it's open on them times, 4pm till 9.30pm, Tuesday to Sunday. Right. Shortbread. A shop that does all shortbread. I've yeah. never seen that before. Yeah, that's all right, yeah. But, again, you've got an own bargains over the road that sells shortbread, haven't you? Well. And an Aldo. We're being, hey, we're being we're stalked. We've got, we got stalked. Look There's who's here. Raven! Raven! There's a surprise. Right outside the calf. That's what we were looking for, is a calf. Yeah. Nice in here. Is it nice? Mm, yeah. yeah. Gotta get so something to eat. Friendly. So that was a surprise. We just bumped into JP and Sammy again. Thank you so much. They've just got us breakfast. That oh, was beautiful. Thank you. Very nice of you. Really nice. Very nice of you. Mark's had a burger and chips, and JP had a full Scottish. So with the, apparently JP said there's a pet shop just down here, so yeah. we're going to go and have a look, see if we yeah, can get little man something. Around the back of a coffee pot. So Let's go and have a look. look. The, the paths and stuff are lethal, like ice, aren't they, everywhere? So. I know, it's probably a bad bad idea fetching you down here, actually. Yeah. Slippy, slippy. It's not very big here. There's not a lot of shops and stuff, is there really, to look at, but we thought we'd take it It out. is more of a ski resort. It is yeah. known for being a ski resort, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So let's have a look what we can find down here. Is that the balloons? What well, I said, the pampered gift. Pet, oh, pampered, pampered pets. There we are. Look at this stag here. Oh, yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah. It looks really authentic with all the frost all over it. <laughs> you can see on this graph here, and, and on here it's like ice everywhere. That's what it's like on the pavement. Can you see that? See footprints on the grass, look. Well, the artificial grass, should we say. I'm convinced he's going to go. Oh, poor Chico, I might have to go nip into one bargains because we're nothing in the pet shop for him. Well, he's got so many treats already. I, I can't, we've nowhere to put any more treats. No, he's full He's got a better wardrobe than me. So, let's go and see what else is in Aviemore. We're back into the town, aren't we now? Yeah. But... If you want something to eat when you come to Aviemore, there is a place we've just been in and I don't know if you said what, what it were called, but it's called the Coffee Pot. Coffee Pot, yeah. It's, it's nice. It's got our breakfast, isn't it? Dog friendly and a nice roaring fire in there yeah, as well. We've got a, Camping stuff, yeah. You didn't see cool. that galaxy, galaxy. There, they've even put lifting for you, Mark. Yeah. That's part of that noodle bar, isn't it? It's the same thing. All right, yeah. and it's closed anyway. No fish and chips here, is there? Or is there? There is right at the bottom. We're gonna oh. have a look, see what it looks like. Eh? I might treat myself to a Mars bar if there's one. I don't think so, sweetie pie. Huh. Lisa's off again. Going to Sue Riders. I thought you'd been in that one. No. Hey, look at that. Hooks on it as well. Oh. Three pound. That's all right, isn't it? It's nice, isn't it? And I've got. What's that? A dish pack? No, it's a reversible waistcoat. Black or silver. That's all right. How clever is that? Not branded, but something I will definitely wear. Two coats for the price of one. How much, <laughs> how much for that? That was six pound. Probably the cheapest thing I'll find in Aviemore anyway. Yeah, it does seem uh, it does seem quite expensive, doesn't it? I've had to put my other up my head just cold. I feel like we've lost some. Do we not have anything else? You've yeah. not put anything down, have you? No. Yeah. It's probably because I've had the camera in my hand, that's why. Yeah, so. I've lost it. Yeah, it's quite expensive, isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. But, like you say, you get all your people coming here, so they're going to charge a bit more, aren't they? Yeah. People come here to ski and come and have a look, like us, so... One big difference we've seen, coming back to Avonmore from last year, is there's a lot of places not letting you sleep overnight now. Well, that not even park. The car park opposite is here, Avonmore Car Park. It does say no motorhomes, there's caravans. At all, you can't park in the day. So I think, to be honest, if you've got a motorhome and it's not massive, it's a bit of discriminating against, because it's a motor vehicle, and it's covered under all the highways act isn't it so but i get it that taking two spots I, I know all that but 
it's still a bit unfair isn't it well anyway what I was going to say is if you're coming to Avimawa there's nowhere to stop really the only campsite we can recommend is the one that we stopped on which is Dalrade right. which is just down the way there is another one here somewhere isn't there but we don't know nothing about it so. and if you go on to Park for Nights it does say that there is a place for you to park for free but it's, it's got houses around it and it's got takeaways and things and everyone's saying it's very busy so if you want to risk parking there you can do but if you're coming to Avimoa just be mindful there's not many places to park we're going to head back to the motorhome because the cold is defeating as it's just too as you can see Mark it looks like Nanook of the North again I know it's icy isn't it this is really bad here Mark please be careful uh, so we're going to get back in the motorhome and we're going to head for somewhere a bit warmer I'm not saying like it's going to be sunny but just a few more degrees higher would do us Look at this, look at this. It's just like look. It's like slipping mud, but it's like cheating.